leaving So I got all these layers stacking up like Tetris The depths of who I am cannot be seen in metrics More than meets the eye or meets imagination Yeah Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So by the time you see this video, it's going to be Valentine's Day. It's one of my favorite occasions since I was a little girl. I know people are like, you should celebrate love every day. You know, it's just a hallmark holiday. It's all about money. But I've always loved, you know, this occasion since I was a little girl. And this is one of the first Valentine's Days that I'm single. But it's not something that I feel down about. I've been embracing it. And, you know, today I want to go into five hard lessons that I learned in love. So, I got my flowers. I got my cupcake, you know. And last but not least... I got my rosé and of course I'm gonna have a hard time opening it as usual all right so how I've been gearing up for this Valentine's Day is pampering myself spending time with friends really being single on Valentine's Day is not the end of the world it really isn't so Cheers to self-love. All right. So, I actually wrote down my five hard lessons because I don't want this to be, you know, a long video. So, here goes number one. What is their family dynamic? This is very important because this is going to set the tone for... The relationship what is their relationship like with their parents in the past you know I've been with people that didn't have the best relationship with their family or their parents and it definitely affected the relationship so definitely before you get in a relationship dig a little bit deeper like what is their family dynamic especially if you're dating to marry you know are you going to want to have kids what is that going to look like and I can say from experience if someone doesn't have a good relationship you know with their mom how are they going to have a good relationship with you and I even had to check myself with that if I don't have a good relationship with my dad how can I have a good relationship with men so definitely you want to take the time to figure out how people feel about their family and what is the relationship. Is it strained? Is it a good one? You don't want to enter into a family where there's two more. Nobody's family is perfect, obviously, but relationship and family dynamics is a big part in how successful your relationship is going to be. So definitely pay attention to that. All right. Number two. Does the relationship bring you peace or anxiety? Now, in the past, when a relationship is not meant to be, it is going to bring you a lot of anxiety because there's going to be a lot of differences. There's going to be a lot of text arguments, a lot of back and forth, a lot of miscommunication, misunderstanding, and it just gives you a lot of anxiety. You know, and I can say from my last relationships, I had so much anxiety. Like, okay, are we going to get into an argument today? Like, what am I going to say that's going to be taken the wrong way? What am I not going to do today that this person is going to be upset about? And you can't be in a relationship that you're constantly in a state of anxiety. A relationship is supposed to bring you peace. And that's a hard lesson that I learned. Like, I could want this relationship to work so badly. I could try as much as I want to. But if it's not meant to be, and it's bringing me more anxiety than peace, then it's something that I just need to let go. All right. Lesson number three. 
what are your deal breakers and stand on it because what you forgive and allow continuously is going to keep happening so your deal breakers are in place for a reason if i'm entering into a relationship with someone and i'm telling you okay these are my deal breakers if you do this it's a wrap and then you do it and then i stay then what perception are you going to have of, of me it means that my deal breakers that i claim will be the end of this relationship is not real so i can keep doing it right so you always want to be mindful of the things that you allow how are you allowing yourself to be treated are you constantly allowing something and forgiving it because the more you allow is the more people are going to do the more you accept people treating you poorly the more they're going to treat you poorly so when you have your deal breakers and everyone should know what their deal breakers are stand on it no matter how difficult it's going to be to walk away from the relationship you want to walk away with your you know heart and your dignity intact because the longer you stay when someone continuously breaks your deal breakers the more heartbroken you're going to be you need to love yourself enough to know that if this person breaks my deal breakers it means that they don't value me enough because if you truly value me and something as important as my deal breakers then you wouldn't break it that will cause the end of the relationship and that's one of the you know hardest lessons and one of the biggest mistake i made was staying in a relationship after my deal breakers were broken because it caused me more pain in the end and really it could have been just avoided so yeah don't do that you have your deal breakers stand on it all right number four can't be love only you'll stay longer if you lead with your feelings so this has been a really big thing that i've been working on in therapy obviously we're in a relationship because we love someone you know we want to make it work because we love someone we stay because we love someone but love is not enough and a lot of times as a woman, women rule, you know, with their emotions. So we stay in situations because of our emotions, knowing that we're not being treated that how we're supposed to. And really, we're just not evenly yoked or we're not compatible. But I love this person. I don't want to let it go. And, you know, I hope that the love is strong enough because we believe in fairy tales, right? That love conquers all but you know as we get older there are more important factors in a relationship working than love and it took me a while to exit relationships because i ruled with my emotions you know like i love this person like i want to make it work i'm staying 10 toes down in this relationship but ultimately you know that wasn't enough to keep it going and um, that has been one of the hardest things that I had to accept when it comes to relationships. And number five, it's okay to want reassurance. So a lot of times from my experience with men, every time you need reassurance, it's like, oh my God, you're insecure. Why aren't you confident in yourself? and really that has nothing to do with it if i'm with someone i do want that reassurance you know obviously you with me for a reason like there are going to be times where i just want my man to like gas me up like you know like you you doing it you know you good at what you do you beautiful you sexy or whatever the case may be the worst thing is to be in a situation where a man feels like reassuring you is a bad thing you should want to reassure your lady you should want her to walk out there knowing that okay my man thinks i'm the shit you know what i mean just like you would want your woman to reassure you and that's one of the things that you can say it goes back to love languages but wanting reassurance is not all the time tied 
to the love language words of affirmations. Sometimes you just need that reassurance. And I'm not saying that your happiness and your confidence should be dependent on, you know, another person. But it is nice to know that the person that you're with is proud of you. You know what I mean? They tell you they're proud of you, that you're doing a good job, that you look good. They see that you're on your weight loss journey, you're trying to get it right and tight. It's like, okay, baby, like, you're looking good. You know what I mean? You know, I those squats, they've been paying off. You know, to be with someone and they don't want to reassure you and they see, like, it's a problem. Like, how, how is that supposed to make you feel? Reassurance is not a bad thing. And it's not, it's not a negative thing for you to want reassurance. And if the person that you with has a problem with reassuring you, then that's probably not the person that you should be with. So those are the five hard lessons that I learned throughout my relationships. Like I want reassurance. I want my relationship to bring me peace. I want somebody to respect me enough that they don't break my deal breakers. I want someone with a healthy, you know, family dynamic. You know, what's so wrong with those things? And I really had to take some time. Mighty. Say hi, Mighty. You're all in the camera. Messing with the balloon. Happy Valentine's Day. I had to take a hard look at the parts that I played in my relationship. The things that I allowed myself to accept. Why I allowed myself to accept it. Like what, what is it tied to, you know, my childhood? Comic bonds, trauma bonds. You know, why, why was it so hard for me to walk away? Why did I feel like it was okay to accept? less than I deserve what what was the part that I played like those things that I listed because obviously it's not always on the next person right so it's like what did you contribute to the relationship negatively you know the things happen because of you being more reactionary or were you the person that caused some of these things and I guess the greatest lesson is you can't always go off of how you feel about somebody because you can love someone and you see, you know, the red flags. And you got to love yourself more to know that despite how I feel about this person, it's just not right for me. And... In the past, I've always felt bad for putting myself first. At the end of the day, I have to live with me for the rest of my life. And I can't allow someone to treat me all type of ways and think that it's okay. So that's just in a nutshell on this beautiful Valentine's Day. You know, some gems I guess I want to drop. But remember to always think about what you want. And yes, you want to meet someone else's needs. But someone else's happiness is not dependent on you. And your happiness is not dependent on someone else. And what do you truly want? How do you want your relationship to be? How do you want to be treated? And what are your deal breakers, you know, when it comes to relationships? And if you are single on this Valentine's Day, you know, it's better to be single than be in a relationship where you're not being treated how you should be and how you deserve to be. And just enjoy the journey. Those of you that have a good partner, this is the time to show appreciation. You should be showing appreciation every day of the year, you know. But if you have someone good, tell them you appreciate them. Show them that you appreciate them, you know, and that you're blessed enough to have 
you know a love like that because not all of us do but this is not a time for us to feel down true love it's out there it's coming you know manifest it and become the best version of yourself so when that love does come into your life you can receive it and you can you know immerse yourself in it and not have you know your triggers and your traumas and your you know bond, karmic bonds and trauma bonds you know really sabotage that relationship so i hope you know you all gained a little something from this video um make sure that anything that you do in life it brings you peace nothing is worth your peace so i'm gonna spend this valentine's day you know loving on myself nothing is like self-love you know you really have to take the time to love on yourself self-love is going to save you a lot a lot of heartache i can't say that enough and before you know i go into enjoying my um rosé and my sweets and all that good stuff because on tuesday we signed to detox i want to do a little oracle message from the romance angels chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here so make sure that y'all are spending some quality time with your significant other loving on them love is a beautiful thing and if you're single hey take some time pleasure yourself nothing's wrong with doing that so if you like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe make sure you're practicing some self-love and just appreciating your family and friends because valentine's day is not just you know a day to show your significant other love but to show everyone around you so i'll see you next time I'm more than just a person I got all these dimensions